How's it going guys? It's Thing 3DS and we're playing The Legend of Spyro, The Eternal Night. So, I think this is episode 10, yes. And I finally got down to looking at the cutscenes from the PS2 version of this game, The Eternal Night. And it's actually pretty epic. <laughs> like the cutscenes, they're pretty good. Um, I think they're a little better than A New Beginning's cutscenes because... A new beginnings like models look kind of like robots. Like they sometimes the characters would just stare straight and it looked bad. That they just look like robots. Um, it, it, it's a strange thing they did from a new beginning to Eternal Night was that they in it, in a new beginning they just made them like half of the cutscenes were pre-rendered. Like it was. It was designed out of like, the game's models, character models, and the Eternal Knight, they kept all of the character models. And honestly, I don't know which one is worse, because it, it's, it's the thing I've been bitching about since, like, I my, my, since I've ever, like, thought about playing, or thought about game, video games in general. Like, I, I, I always say not to use, um, can I, oh, damn it. I always say not to use pre-rendered cutscenes in video games because it it, it 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 separates the game from the gamer. Like it, it doesn't look good once you go back into the game because the graphics of the cutscenes were so beautiful. Uh, but then I see like Eternal Nights cutscenes; they're all character models, and it just doesn't. Sometimes it does look awkward that they're just moving around. I think I don't know. Like I think they could have done a better job of. Uh, moving around the character models in Eternal Night's cutscenes. But they were still pretty good. They were still pretty good. And a lot of what's missing in this game, in this version, the DS version, that is just, like so desperately needed is that epicness and drama from uh, PS2's Eternal Night, you know? Because it, 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 I feel like I'm just being taken on a tour right now. It doesn't feel like a game. Or it doesn't feel like I'm in this world of darkness. It is a world of darkness. And uh, though there are times when, like, Spyro has fallen. And it, that happens because he's falling asleep. I thought he was just, like, fainting or something. It wasn't really clear what was happening to Spyro in the DS version. <laughs> but he's actually falling asleep every now and then. And he sees this guy who's the... What was his name? The Chronicler. And uh, as of right now... Uh, I only watched the cutscenes up to the stadium area, so I don't know if the chronicler is a good guy or a bad guy. But it seems kind of mixed. It could be, it could be totally misdrewed. But whatever, we'll keep going here. A flash of lightning is born of the sky, and its temper. Oh yeah, we already read this actually. This was we're getting the electricity power. Um, I think. Oh, okay. So what happened now was, or what happened last episode? Was that we fell asleep in the middle of the stadium. And now I guess we're in his world again. The uh, Chronicler's world. So we have to be careful. <laughs> oh, we need four mirrors. Goodness gracious, I forgot all this. The cutscenes from Eternal Night. Uh, PS2's Eternal Night was uh, pretty damn good. It was pretty cool. But uh, we didn't get any. We didn't get much of it. Uh, on the DS version. Obviously for its limitations. And you know how some of the cutscenes from this game is just like still frames, but it's it's kind of like like a yellow and black drawings of uh, the cutscenes happening. It's strange because some of the some of the cutscenes in PS2's Eternal Night look just like that. So I guess the what the developers of the DS version thought of was to just like implement some of those cutscenes into. Some of the PS2's cutscenes into this one. Oh god, I almost fell off. Okay. So I thought that was really strange. I don't know if I take falling damage, but I'm not gonna... I don't want to start over again, so... Okay, we got the mirror puzzle. Let's see. Oh god, what is this? Is this the one that changes colors? Yep. Oh, great. Oh, Jesus.
Whoa, I got lucky. Oh my god. Nice. What the heck? What is that? A portal? Oh shit. Here we go. What the? Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh god. Okay, this is unexplained. For some reason, we're fighting all of our friends. I think this is Voltaire. Or Voltine or something like that. I don't know why we're fighting our friends. I feel like... Oh god, I don't even know what he's gonna do. Here we go, okay. I feel like the developers of this game were kind of confused. They thought the dragons were enemies, but... They're our friends, so I don't know why... I really don't know why we're fighting our, al our allies. Like, it's not even... It's, I don't think it's even in the PS2 version. Unless they're, like, possessed, these guys. Well, to be fair, I only saw the cutscenes. I didn't see the actual gameplay. So I don't actually know what I'm doing fighting these dragons. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that was too soon. Oh, God. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Oh god, I skipped the t god dang it. I skipped the text again. It's it's really bad that the talk and bu attack button are the same button. So I just keep mashing the button and then I skip a text. Great, now the voice inside my head is ignoring oh, I think it was ignoring him. Look at that. What the fuck? Oh, it's a penguin again. What the heck? We're still in the Oh, that's right. Oh, okay, so now we're still in the stadium, the the ship stadium, and we've woken up. And now the bird has to talk. Guests of the arena, we have exciting news for you regarding one of our combatants. Shall we bring him out? There is a rumor about that this little purple dragon may be of great importance. What say you, dragon? What greatness can you offer? The only thing, the only thing right you'll be showing us is great pain. Press the attack button to attack with the electric breath. What the heck? Electric attacks form electrical clouds over enemies, stunning and damaging them over time. I like the Dawn of the Dragon. What the heck is that? Hopefully that was a checkpoint, because I don't want to do the last... I don't want to attack the electric dragon again. So let's see. He's slow too. Did that even damage him? Oh god! What the heck? I'm just gonna go for it. I don't know what this does. I was there was like a strafing option, but I don't see any strafing option. <laughs> wow, whatever. <laughs> okay, um, okay, there was a checkpoint though. That's good. I, like these powers are useless. 
I always try to use the power attacks on uh, the elemental attacks, I should say, on the enemies, and it it doesn't seem to have much impact at all. Like there, it was supposed to stun him, but it didn't. Just better off with like circling him and tagging. Oh, he's dead. Is there more? <laughs> There's probably more. Okay, never mind. There's no more. <laughs> What? I don't get to battle her? So that stadium area was like the halfway point of the whole game, which is pretty crazy because that's like 10 parts. So I was right, like this game is going to take about like, what, 20 parts? Just like a lot of the other Spyro games have. Uh, it's, it's too bad we couldn't fight Cinder, what the heck? So that whole thing was a cutscene and it just explained to us what happened. I guess we're making our getaway out of the ship. Uh, damn, I was it more thing else to say, I was going to say something, but... Oh, oh, right, 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 Cinder's, guys, Cinder's character model in PS2's Eternal Darkness looks awful, looks, she looks creepy, she looks, I mean, like, compared to Dawn of the Dragons, like, she, she has a lot more color too, I think, or maybe she's just as dark as she is, I think she is just as dark, but something, like, they... Like, the, her eyes in Eternal Darkness, or the Eternal Night, is just, like, half the eye size that it is in Dawn of the Dragon. It's, it's crazy. I didn't even reckon, I didn't even, like, I saw Cinder, I didn't even think that was Cinder. Because this this dragon's eyes is, like, like, like oh, they're so small, they're almost like slits compared to Dawn of the Dragon's Cinder. They made her hot. But, uh, that'll be it for this time, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll get... I don't know, a cutscene with Cinder? I feel like this game is all about Spyro and Cinder, but it's not. So, that's what I was expecting the whole time, but oh well. This is Pangu3DS, signing out.